Hey guys, yes, introduction to Nigerian Stock Exchange, that's the formal name currently known as Nigerian Exchange Group. Yes, this is your go-to tool when you want to invest in Nigerian stock. You must come here. Even though we have other tools, other analytical tools you can use like investing.com, trading, via and all those things. But why you want to come here is that this is the bedrock. This is where they extract their data from. So if you don't come here, you're going to be trading with a lag data so i'm gonna walk you if you go to the sites which the link will be in the description if you go to the sites or the link will be in the comment box if you go to sites it's a quite intimidating but i will tell you where to go to to look for the information you are looking for and get extract the information you are looking for so you must use this as part of your analysis so let's go let's go so when you get to this site you will see some icons like lists thread data S Academy Media and whatever you go to data, go to data straight up. Once you go to data, come to equity because we are talking about stock now. Next time we tell you how to use it to analyze bond and everything. So once you come to equity, you now scroll down. Once you come to equity, this is what it looks like. It will show you number one is that you will now know the sectors because different markets in the US market we have up to 11 sectors. But in Nigeria market here, we have different sectors where stocks are categorized. And it is very important to know the sector. So if you want to see all the sectors in the market, you go under sectors here. Yeah? Once you come under sectors, you see the sectors we have in Nigeria here. Yeah? We have our agricultural conglomerates and all of them down to service sector. That's it. So you know the stock you are buying, the sector which it falls under. Then the market, Nigeria market is being classified into four. We have the premium board, which is a kind of top, top companies. We have the main board. Then we have the small and medium, that's SMEs. And then we have the growth. This is where mostly you find the penny stocks. Growth board. So, the four, so this is the fourth board. So stock markets are peculiar all over the world. If you go to the, um, if you go to the US market, it is not actually categorized this way. Yeah, you, you see their own, it's categorized differently. So in any market you are, you play according to that market. And also remember in this channel, we na analyze Nigerian stocks and the US stock. And we do weekly market analysis of the stock market of what happens. So that's why you should subscribe to the channel. It's not just coming to show you a one-time video. It's a continuous process. So subscribe to the channel, turn up notification. If you have not watched the previous uh, week, this week analysis, go and watch it. There is a playlist on it. So that you get a bit, you get up to date of what is happening in the market. And we also drop stock picks. Currently, banking stocks are on that. Just watch, watch the video. You know the stock pick we have dropped there. Then, if you get to there, so this is exactly how it looks like. Then, if you want to see all the, then you come to show. This is it will show you all the stocks in the Nigerian stock exchange, the licensed one. And why I love these places when they are having regulatory issues, you will easily know. It's very, very important. Let me recap. When the stocks are having regulatory issues, you will easily know. There is no other two currently free for retail investors that you will see such thing. So that's why it's very important to always come here, to come and check what is the regulatory stand of that stock I want to buy. Example, if you look at this first stock, Abe D. Abe. This bracket B elusive means below listing standard is a regularly consigned. If you come here, Afre Insure, you will see this MROC. It means missing regulatory filing. That means you know you need to publicly traded companies need to file their financial. They need there is a need, is a is a mandatory that they file their reports quarterly. Every three months, they file their business report. That's their financial. That's where you see unedited and whatever. So if you don't file it, it is the regular. It is the duty of the regulatory part of the exchange to come and signal here. So we have so many. They mean so many things. We have so many. So when anyone you are seeing here is a regularly concerned, we make a video to explain all this. What these things mean, so that you is you might not be going. You might not go and start buying a stock that wants to delist or that is struggling. Or having regulatory issue so that's one thing 
you suppose all of them have what they mean but not, in order not to make this video lengthy, you see so many we make a different video or you comment down below we drop a list of of what all of them mean so that's it so these are the stocks in the nigeria stock exchange what here we show you to show you the volume the value the percentage change as the day is going on and how many trades has been taken for the day then you come down here you see assets cop ranging from a to z currently we have over 130 something stocks and the ngs which is formerly known as nigeria stock exchange is trying to onboard many companies they want to relax some of their policies so there's some companies we join because if you go in the years you have over thousands of stocks so our market is not really that deep so many companies will be coming on board currently yes and uh, dan gote have yes we have over 151 yes currently dan gote refinery want to list next day so many stocks to bring value to the market so this is it so let's now show you example once you get to this let's say you are interested in the banking sector because you must invest sector by sector you come to the banking sector you select once you select banking uh, finance sorry under finance sector you see this is sector now under sector there's what you call subdivision of sectors sectors are now divided into industry so in the finance sector you will have insurance and the banking insurance and the banking that is how nigerian under the finance sector so if you get to there you see something like Afri stock. Now you want to watch uh, Access Corp. Access Corp is about uh, Access Bank. If you come here, you check. If you want to extract more data on it, you click on that stock you are interested in. Once you click on there, it will open. You will see for that is this is where you get first hand. Even though you can get their financial from other third party um, analytical tools like Investing.com and everything, but the most important reason why you should come here is to see regulatory issue and see the subdivisions subdivisions of the stock and the in the sector they are and the industry they are that's one of the most important and see if there's any regulatory issue like i keep on repeating so this is access if you come here see some of the things you see about access which you need to take cognizance of hold on a sec it's loading up so this is it you see assets you see that assets this is the ticker this is the sector under financial then subsector which is a kind of industry they are under financial other financial institutions that means they do more than banking there's another one you pull up here now you see only banking so it means assets is bigger that's why it's a conglomerate a kind of now under uh, market classification you see that they are under the premium board remember when i showed you the premium board the main board the sme board and the growth board then you see their outstanding shares and other ones so this is their profile when it was listed where they are their nature of the nature of their business are you seeing it here provision of banking and other financial services to corporate and individual whatever you see their company address where they are and all this some of these things you might not see in third party broker then link to their website here then if you want to go to their financials this is where you go to their financials and see the latest financial documents and if there's any other corporate disclosure like payment of dividend this is where you see it which you might not see in third party broker or rights issues currently they are doing rights issues which we talked about in our weekly analysis video this is where you see it then what uh, inside that trader what their uh, directors whoever have done you see it here if there is any you see it here so this is the summary of introduction to nigerian stock exchange website so in our subsequent video we make more videos of some of this analytical tools so that you know what you are doing in the market don't forget to smash the subscribe button turn up notification join our telegram group for up-to-date market analysis catch you inside our group and stay profitable peace out